Hi everybody, it's Whitney here from the library and today we're going to go over how to paint a narwhal on canvas. So first off, as usual, we're going to go over what is in the kit. So we've got our canvas, which is underneath here. <laughs> um, we've got six containers of acrylic paint. Um, and let's just go over the colors. So we've got, you've got a container of gray. It's got a big G on it. You have a container of bright blue. So it's got BB on the top. You've got white. So there's a W. Black with B. Turquoise with a T and Golden Sunset with a GS. So those are the six paints we'll be using. You also have three paint brushes. The flat with the 5 eighths written on it. You've got a round number five and another round number two it's a little smaller so also in the kit is uh, we've got two sheets of traceable paper and two traceables so the traceables uh, put together make the image of the narwhal um, what you'll need to provide is a paper plate um, some paper towels and you can see that I've I've put some paper towels underneath the painting uh, a, a cup of water I actually I suggest having two cups of water um, some scotch tape and um, a dull pencil that you can use to trace so so first let's uh, let's trace our narwhal so using your dull pencil and the two traceables and so with the traceables you're going to put them shiny side down and I've also um, used a little bit of scotch tape at the top and taped it down just so it this the um, the traceables the traceables and the the tracing paper don't move so then you're going to put your narwhal down and start tracing and you literally are just going to take your pencil and trace on the black outline of the narwhal trace it all around and you can either put the bubbles in now these bubbles and these shapes on the narwhal or you can wait until later to paint them yourself you you'll you can still use this as a guide um, and i'll show you what i mean so once you're done tracing i'm going to take this off i'm going to lift up my canvas and once you're done tracing you should have an image that looks like this. You notice how I, I have the, the tracing paper, the graphic paper taped to the back. So I take it off <laughs> and there's my canvas ready to go. So the first thing we want to do is paint the negative space around the narwhal and for that we're going to use the flat 5 eighths brush and we're going to take our turquoise color bear with me one moment there we go I'm gonna take our turquoise I'm just gonna put a little bit while I'm making this video I 
don't think I'm going to paint the whole thing, um, but I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, it's just a little awkward for me to reach. <laughs> so let's let's just start, and then we'll go from there. So just kind of paint all around. You see what I'm doing here, hopefully. And just don't go, don't have to go too far up. Um, and just keep painting all around until you have completely outlined the narwhal with the turquoise paint. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and I'm going to move to a painting that I already did. We'll see if I can, if I can direct you using that. Okay, so next, so once you have the narwhal outlined, you're going to continue using this flat 5 eighths brush to paint the rest of the ocean up top here. And then you're going to want to blend a little bit of white. Again, I'm going to go back to my one that I'm working on and show you. So you're just going to take that and just just kind of start paint. See how it looks a little lighter now? Just like this. And just keep going. And just mix that turquoise and white and just keep going. And this is really, you know, as I say at every craft, this is your design, your artwork. So once you get an idea of the color, you know, the paint colors, um, I think you'll have a, a good idea of, of how you want this to look. And what's really nice about this painting and the directions for this painting is that there is no wrong way. Um, every, no matter what anybody does, it's going to look good. <laughs> um, I, I say that because I am no artist and I was very happy with what I, I came up with. Um, so just keep going and um, you should have enough paint to do all of them. If for some reason you don't have enough paint, just give me a call when I can, you know, I'll, I'll, I've got plenty of it. Um, but I'm pretty sure those kits are, are well stocked. So, so just keep doing that. And once you have, and again, you know, it's your decision as to how far down you want to go. Because the farther down you go, that's when we're going to add a third color and make, make the bottom of the ocean part just a little darker with the bright blue. You can even mix it with the what you already have mixed in with the white and turquoise and just, just keep painting. There we go. And just, you're gonna do it all, this whole length down here. And if it looks a little too dark, add a little more of that blue, turquoise, white mixture until you have the whole thing covered. 
then we're going to take, let's see, once we're done that with our the bottom of our ocean, keep going, keep going. I just want to get enough here so I can show you what I'm about to do. Okay. All right, keep going. <laughs> so now we're going to take, and by the way, on our directions, we're on, we're going to be on number five here. So next we're going to paint wavy lines in the ocean and paint bright blue seaweed at the bottom. Okay, so Let's first use our bright blue for the seaweed. And it's literally like this, just like this. I'm gonna paint some happy seaweed at the bottom. Okay. Now, at this point, if, um, if you want to clean your brush a bit, go ahead because we're going to need just some white next. And just kind of dip it in one of these cups and grab a, another paper towel and wipe off your paintbrush. Let's get a little more white on our plate and Let's take, mix it with just a little bit of the turquoise. So once you've, you're, you've finished with your darker seaweed at the bottom, you're going to make like little ripples in the, in the top part so it looks like it's wavy. And again, I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna remove what I'm working on and show you in the, oops, I just got paint all over me. That'll happen. <laughs> so here, see here, down here, we have the darker blue or the bright blue, and you know, just keep making squigglies and that will be your seaweed. And then um, you can take some more white and just kind of wave it through the top so it looks like um, just ripples in the water. And then while you have that clean white paint, you can go ahead and make um, your, actually, let's, let's go back to the narwhal. Um, so while you've got that white, white you want to get the bottom here and you want to paint the inside of the eyeball and then you're going to wash <clears throat> your brush again and this time we're going to use some gray and you want your clean brush take some of the gray and paint in the narwhal um, you want the tail you want to get the mouth and don't forget the two bottom fins so you've got the white here and then the gray and then once your narwhal is painted completely um, you can mix start to mix the white and the gray to give the narwhal a little bit of definition and then once you've done that just go back to your white and Put in some dots and for this if you want to go back and use your trace the traceable as a guide that's fine you're going to paint the dots and you're going to paint the air bubbles and then you'll also want to just paint some little air bubbles down here 
Um, and then let's see, where are we on our directions? So at this point, I actually, I ended up using the 5 8 brush a lot more than I thought I would, but you can also switch to the number two um, if you want smaller air bubbles. So then you're going to clean your number two brush because we're going to use a completely different color. So once that's clean and dry, you're going to take the black paint and we're going to do some tracing. So we want the front of each fin and the front of the tail. Give them a little mouth, some eyeballs. And stop there. And you're gonna take you can take this number five and we're going to use a little bit of the golden sunset to paint the horn and then we're going to go back to the black paint and um, give it some definition um, and that's that's really it I am afraid I'm not the greatest at showing someone how to paint so um, on the directions at the very bottom where it says this project was adapted from how to paint a narwhal there is a video there as well as um, directions please feel free to look at those directions before you start your painting um, the only reason why I made my own directions is that I use the different colors of paint um, and I just didn't want it to be more confusing but that's an actual artist who shows someone how to paint so you might want to take a look at those um, but again I mean I, I was pretty pleased with how this came out um, if you have any questions just let me know um, and also and I, I say this at every craft video this project uh, it is really it's made possible through CARES Act funding to the Federal Institute of Museum and Library Services as administered by the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners. So again, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the supplies to make this craft possible. Um, and it's been so helpful during this time. Um, and I do hope to continue these take and make projects because I think they are a great way to have fun at home. Um, I know that there are families who sign up for these projects so I, I love hearing that you just have fun with each other working on these crafts um, and as always please please send me pictures of your craft. Um, I'd love to see the results. I'm going to post a picture of my result and put it on my wall <laughs> so that is it everybody um, I do apologize if my directions kind of rambled but again I'm not an artist <laughs> so um, good luck and if you again if you have any questions just let me know bye